fear. Oh no, the fear of starting YouTube. How to get over the fear of starting a YouTube channel. I'm sure that all of you are feeling that fear and anxiety before starting a YouTube channel. So I'm going to give you some key things to think about and help you overcome during this video. And there are some unusual ones out there. There are some that are very personal to me. Stay to the end so you can see all the reasons why you should get over that fear and all the tips to help you get over that fear of starting a YouTube channel. Your first video is going to suck. It's going to suck so badly. And that's okay. It's meant to suck maybe a few weeks, months, or years down the line when you are better at creating these videos and creating this content and better at portraying the knowledge that you want to get out of your head. When you are better at that, go back and remake that video. You can keep doing the same video once every year. Just keep re-going over it because maybe the first video didn't resonate with someone. Maybe someone clicked off in the first video in the first moment. But when, once you are better at portraying yourself, getting your message out there, maybe someone will see it in the future, click on it and watch it. And your message has finally got through to them. They're ready to receive it now. But your first video is going to suck. That's okay. It is meant to suck. So when you make your first video and it sucks and you publish it and you get one view off of your mum, then that's fine. It's fine. You're going to start feeling a bit of an anxiety there. You're going, am I making a mistake? This is part of the process. It's part of the process. You've got to go through this. You've got to go through the failure to get to success. You've got to go through this. It is the process. That is okay. So when you feel that feeling and your first video has not reached a million views, okay, take a breath. I have just improved. That's what you need to see. You have just improved by making that first video and you've started. Don't look at the data analytics. Okay, this is controversial because most people say, look at the analytics, see what people are worried about. See why people are dropping off in your videos. See why people are not interested in your videos. At first, just publish like five videos, just five videos. Once you got to your, your fifth, then go and look at the analytics. If you're looking at the analytics on the first video, the sample size of that is just one video. The sample size is too small. You may be too reactive to that particular video. You want to wait till you've got five or even 10 videos. Once you're at this point, you've got a larger sample size. So have a look at that analytics and see where people are watching your videos too. Are they dropping off? And then you can see the trends in those 10 videos. What can you change to keep people in there? Are people dropping off on the first second? You need to update your intro. Are, are people dropping off about two or three minutes in? You may need to stop having clickbait thumbnails. These are the things that you may need to change, but don't look at the analytics on the first video. There's no point. The sample size is too small. You'll be too reactive and you may actually, there may be some response to that video that is negative, that all it just needs is a little push, a little bit more views on that video and it could kick off. It could really be a trend of what's going to happen. So don't look at the analytics straight away. Look at the analytics later on when you have a larger sample size. So, cause these analytics can really, really play with your mind, make you fearful, fearful, make you feel like you're not good enough, give you imposter syndrome. Don't let that get in your way. Keep doing your videos, keep posting your videos. They're gonna be terrible at first, but with each single video, they're going to get better, better and better and better. Set your goals to make sure that they are in your control. So many people will start YouTube and say, I want 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I want a million subscribers in three years. This is out of your control. Your goals, you're setting your goal for somebody else to click a subscribe button. You want to stop that. You do not want to be setting the goals and leaving them in control of someone else. This is a problem and this could potentially stop you from starting YouTube or deter you from continuing with your YouTube journey and give you that fear that you're not good enough. 
Do not do that. Do not set your goals in this way. I want you to set your goals in a different way. Set your goals into something that you can control. I want you to say, I am going to release X amount of videos per week for the next 12 months, for the next two years, for the next three years. I recommend having this consistent for about three years. What you want to do is say, I am going to make two videos every single week without fail for the next three years. Something like that is something you can control. If you are failing at that goal, that's your problem. You need to kind of fix that problem and get more consistency. Maybe plan ahead, maybe do three videos one week and then post it the week later. If you are busy, you're going on holiday or you've got something on, maybe plan ahead for that and make an extra video the week before. Keep those goals in your control. Another, another goal that you can do is say, I am going to study for three hours every single week on my YouTube channel. You're going on to other YouTube channels and other creators like vidIQ and Think Media. You're watching them. These teach you how to create a YouTube channel. You are buying books on the topic and you're reading books. You could say, I'm going to do this for three hours every single week without fail. So you're posting two videos and having three hours study every single week. And this is going to help you gain more experience by posting the videos and more knowledge and learning from other people by studying that three hours a week. That is another goal. These are my goals. And I'm telling you this as well. These are, these are my goals. These are relatable to me. Your goals can be whatever you want. It could be one video, it could be five videos, up to you. Your goals are your own goals, but those are my goals. Do my study and do my two videos minimum. So I can absolutely go over that. If I've got nothing to do, I can post more videos and do more study. I can absolutely do that and these are in my control. I'm not gonna fail at that because I'm going to be consistent and no one else can hurt me when it comes to those goals because I will succeed at those goals. If you are liking this type of content, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see future videos coming out as and when I post them and publish them. The fear of being judged. This one had a twist for me. I did not expect the outcome when I felt the fear of being judged by others. I felt that fear. What are my nieces and nephews going to think? Their uncles on camera, that's weird. Is it weird? I don't know. That could be what they're thinking. Are my parents going to think that guy's on camera? That's strange. That's weird. That's not how you become successful in this world. You become successful by working hard and saving and investing. That these are the things that make you successful. Are those outdated? Am I correct? Are my nieces and nephew correct? This is all the hypothetical things that go through your head. But the reality is there are haters out there. But the surprising twist, what I found, I had the fear of being judged, but I did it anyway. I had that fear, but I did it anyway. I thought, do you know what? I don't care. If I'm judged, I'm judged. That is fine. Judge away, have your opinion, don't care. But the surprising thing that I found, which really, really surprised me, pleasantly surprised me, was the comments that I got from people. The comments that I got from people where I was thinking they're going to think I'm weird. The comments I actually got were so, so encouraging were things like, I can't believe you're so capable of doing something like that. That is amazing. I'd never be capable of doing something like that. I've had people say, I wish I had your brain. I wish I was capable of doing these things. People have left me such, such positive comments. Now that may not be for you. Who knows? You might not get that same response. I don't know what's going to happen in your future. But whether you get positive or negative responses, let's say you get a hater. I am guaranteed I'm going to get a hater at some point. Someone is going to leave me a negative compliment. Well, this is my warning to you haters. I'm going to reel you into a conversation to make you keep commenting on my videos. Keep on commenting. I'm going to keep asking you questions over and over and over again. If you keep putting comments on my videos, you're going to keep helping me with the YouTube algorithm. So that's my warning to you hit haters. If you've only watched one video and you missed that warning message, unlucky you, I'm going to keep you reeling in. That's my warning to you haters. You've been warned. The stars will never align for you. If you're fearful and you're waiting for things to be perfect, you're waiting for things, you're waiting to buy the microphone, buy the key light, you're waiting to improve your camera, don't, just stop, just stop doing that, okay, just stop, just start, get your phone right now, after this video, watch till the end, get your phone after this video, record yourself, An intro video, get your terrible video out of the way, get your first terrible video out of the way, get your phone, intro, hi, my name is Mr. X, 
and I want to start my YouTube channel about this. And this is the thing that interests me. These are my hobbies and things. So if you want, like and subscribe and I don't know, just do something like that and then just post it. Just post it. Get it out of the way. Get the experience. Know what it's like to post it. No one, maybe no one will ever watch it. Maybe. Who cares? If no one watches it, no one judges you. So there you go. Don't worry about it. Just go and do that. After this video, record yourself with your hand. You don't need a selfie stick. Record yourself. Hi, this is me. I'm creating my first video. This video is going to suck, but who cares? I'm going to get better and better and better and better with every single video. And this is my first sucky video, but the next video is going to be better. So subscribe because the next video is going to get better than this one. And don't, you don't want to miss out on this, the next video that's better than this one. Get involved. You know, just something like that. Just create a video, create a rubbish video like that. Don't worry about the lighting or anything. It's going to be absolutely shocking, but that's absolutely fine. Just start. Start right now. Just start right now. Create that YouTube video. Start it right away. If you are still fearful of starting a YouTube channel, maybe it will help you to watch my journey from the very beginning. Watch my journey from the very beginning. Maybe you will learn from some of my mistakes that I made and it will prevent you from making a similar mistake. Maybe you can see the things that I am doing. Like for example, talking with my hands. This creates more engagement. You Maybe you'll see how I've improved from the very beginning. So have a click on my very first video, binge watch all my videos from the very beginning and you can see how gradually I've improved my videos from start to finish.